back to another video. We are so excited to finally do this video for you guys. We've been talking about this for so long and it's finally here. We really wanted to do this video before the end of the year. We did move into this house in March of 2020 when the whole pandemic started. Mm -hmm. So we really wanted to do this video before the year ended. And on top of that, um, we renovated, we did a lot of work to it. To give you a little backstory, we purchased house from the builder and uh, pre-construction phase. It was and literally on the map. Yeah, we had never seen it. Never seen or nothing. <laughs> and we decided not to do any of the upgrades with the builder. We decided to do it ourselves. And yeah. We're so thankful to be able to own a home at this age. Yes. Alhamdulillah. And we want to show it to you guys because we know that a lot of you guys take inspiration from different home decor and the way we have things set up. So I know that you guys will really love this video. If you guys are interested in knowing how we kind of came about getting our home, our very first home and owning it and the journey to finding a house in terms of real estate and all that kind of stuff, um, let us know in the comments down below. We can definitely do a video, a really detailed video of all the houses we saw, what we like and disliked, what to look out for, all that kind of stuff. I think it'd be helpful for any new couples that are looking for homes or any new homeowners. Um, so let us know in the comments down below and we'll do that for you. But anyways, let's get this video started. I am in the hallway right now. Um, as you guys can see, this is when you first enter the home. There's a bench right over there. Then there is a door to the garage. I'm not going to open that because it's cold outside. <laughs> And then on the opposite side, you guys know the drill. There's the washroom there. Okay, so this is the powder room. It's just a single washroom kind of deal. I just have it set up with some towels, all that kind of stuff for when guests come over. And then on the other side, we actually just got this from Amazon. I love it so much. It just goes over the toilet area just to keep little things. I haven't filled it up yet. Guys, I just want to say something. What? This toilet seat is the toilet seat I'm not allowed to use. Anytime I use it, Jasmine freaking yells or knocks on the door, get out! Exactly, because this is for guests. Ja and I don't want to have to clean it every single time a guest comes over. But Dawood is the type, is if he is walking in this hallway and he gets the urge to pee, he just finds the closest <laughs> washroom and sits Yeah, why not? That's normal. No, this Jasmine is literally washroom. walks all the way upstairs just to just use the washroom. Yeah, because well, that's I our use washroom. The closest washroom. No, because then, okay. Oh my god, guys, honestly, don't understand the struggle of keeping things clean. I'm not gonna clean this every time a guest comes over. This stays clean for guests, and you have your own two washrooms upstairs, mister. You know, Comment down you, below if this is a struggle yeah, for you guys you know, as well. You, <laughs> you know what I do at night? What? I walk all the way down here to use this washroom because you don't let me sleep with your eyes open, Jasmine. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, so if we continue down the hallway, we have the stairs on my left hand side that goes upstairs and downstairs, of course. And then we enter into the main area of the house. And obviously, we spend the most time here. We have the kitchen over here. We did a lot of upgrades to the kitchen. Um, so, like Lots. we mentioned earlier, the upgrades with the builder would have cost us so much. So, we decided to hire our own contractors and that kind of thing. So, we ended up doing a lot of upgrades. Um, one big upgrade that we did obviously was the appliances. We made sure that the appliances were all very new and all that kind of stuff. It really gives the kitchen a fresh look. We also changed the countertops. We upgraded it from laminate to quartz and quartz is absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's very durable and we yeah. love the finish that we chose. Yes. It's so, so beautiful. And uh, if you guys remember, there was like a high breakfast bar we got yeah. rid of, we hated it. So. There was a breakfast bar over here that went up, that's so that you can have a high seating area and then half of it was the kitchen countertop. Yeah. So instead we knocked that down and we made the kitchen countertop um, wider so we have more space. We also decided to add a waterfall. Um, if you guys are not aware what that is, it just means that the quartz countertop or whatever countertop you have continues down to the floor on the side and that is reminiscent of a waterfall I guess so yeah. we decided to do that again it just gives it like a modern sleek feel and that is an upgrade that we did another upgrade that we also did was the tap and the sink oh my god you guys should have seen it before <laughs> yeah the before was it was kind of I mean like it, it was fine but it just was very boring and not very our style so cheap and very old looking like I for think. the money you pay for a house yeah it's kind of sad what they put well I mean that's what builders do builders just throw in the cheapest yeah, well they possible they do buy. have a lot of houses that they're building right yeah, so they're not they're... gonna here put you some nice 
material. But still, you know. We decided to do all black. So you'll notice in our house, black is definitely our accent color. You'll find black all over the house here and there. We also upgraded the lighting situation over here. This one is on top of the island area and it's just so beautiful, especially when we're watching movies. We turn everything off and just keep that one on. They're like little twinkle lights. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I'm very happy that we upgraded that because it made a whole lot of a difference. So this is basically our kitchen area. This is where Dawood tries to be the master chef, but he ain't. <laughs> I'm the master chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, last, another thing we were going to do, we still haven't done yet, is adding a backsplash. Yeah. We're looking for a nice deep matte black color in a hexagon shape. Mm -hmm. And we have not we have gotten to it, but at the same time, um, it's hard to find materials for that particular piece. Mm -hmm. So it's very rare to find what we want exactly. So once we find it, we're going to get it done. Also, there's one thing that's bothering me. This cabinet right here needs to close. There we go. <laughs> okay, so if we head directly in front of me, which is across of the kitchen, we have the dining area. So we have a huge six-seater dining table. Um, and it is a marble table. We absolutely love it, even though it's very porous and whatever we put on it ends up like soaking in and it absorbs everything and it stains a little bit, but it's okay. It's just so I pretty. love it. It's yeah. so nice. It's so thick and heavy. This was the it heaviest thing in our house. It's very chic. Like it looks expensive, yeah. even though it wasn't. And then we got a little lamp and we also upgraded this little light fixture on top of the dining table this one was like a really boring old looking yeah i um, i threw it out like i threw, i left outside for the garbage yeah. it up. horrible <laughs> it was bad so we wanted something a little bit more modern so we chose that and then of course we have a mirror over there yeah, hi guys <laughs> <laughs> and finally, the only thing left in this area is obviously the living room. And this is probably my favorite part of the house because yeah, we spent so, nice. so much time kind of planning it out. We mentioned that we bought the house um, uh, basically on a blueprint map. We had no idea what the house looked like. Um, we actually snuck into the house when it was under construction, <laughs> which we weren't allowed to. Um, and we were so scared, but that's a story for another time. And we didn't really know what everything or how everything would look. So we kind of just imagined it and the woods architecture brain kind of helped us a lot. So we ended up going with a gray, black and white theme. Um, with that's, a what touch... we did. that's what we did throughout the whole house. Yeah, but this one has a touch of brown. Um, because of the coffee table and the little accents and obviously the hardwood floors. But we have this couch over here. It's very low profile, all gray, kind of like a salt and pepper gray, which really helps with keeping it clean. It doesn't look dirty. And we have a regular sofa and we also have a love seat on the other side. And then of course we have this beautiful coffee table in the middle. This is my pride and joy. I love this coffee table we, so much. <laughs> we sit down and eat there a lot. I sit down here and I watch TV and I eat on the floor. I love that. I just love, I don't know, it just feels so cozy, but still um, very different than the normal kind of normal uh, living room. You don't ever really find low profile coffee tables like this. Anytime someone comes over, the first thing they say is, whoa, that's a low coffee table. <laughs> and I'm like, Damn right but everyone it likes it <laughs> yeah everyone really likes it and uh, obviously when we have friends over and stuff like that i have like all the food here and everyone gathers on the floor we just kind of like yeah we actually and, all do we, sit on yeah the floor we all gather. have like movie nights on the floor it's just so much fun and i just like i love the look of it i think it looks really great in the room and it fills the room really nicely yes and then we also have a one seater um we got this one from home, home sense, sense. Good and luck finding that. But yeah, I actually yeah. saw it the other day. But it's so comfy. Yeah. And I remember when I saw this, I had to get it. I was like, we're getting this. So I bought it on the spot so that it doesn't go away. And then we have this little poof on the side, which is incredibly overpriced for something that is so lame and so simple. But I think it looks cute on the side here. And then we also recently added these um, nesting tables. Um, this is great for when guests come because we do have a low um coffee table not everyone wants to reach down for that cup of tea and then you know try to drink it yeah that sucks so we definitely have on um, these tables to kind of put beside wherever that person is sitting so that way they don't have to bend over or feel awkward about grabbing their uh, cup of coffee from so far away and of course we have some decor you'll see here on top of our fireplace look at that fireplace i love this fireplace yeah. <laughs> 
Um, we have some Islamic decor, uh, very like simple, clean looking Islamic decor, not the very traditional kind, which I absolutely love. I love having a touch of, you know, like Islam in the culture. And of course, we had to upgrade the lighting in this whole house because we film a lot in this house and that's something that's really important to us. Um, so we upgraded the, basically the whole entire house with pot lights. We used to have that just that regular um, center center lighting. Speaking of pot lights, you're just talking right underneath one. Yeah, I know. I probably look evil. Yes, you do. Tell a scary story, Jasmine. And yeah, we just really wanted to do this upgrade because it helps with the lighting and it just makes it look a lot more, you know, upgraded and expensive. Yeah, the lights do a lot. Yeah, for sure. And that's obvious. And that is also something that brings up the value of the home, which is something we can talk about later in a different yes, video. Yes, real estate's a really good investment. But yeah, these upgrades are really important when you want to resell your home. Anyway, so. Moving on here, I don't think I mentioned this part, but we also obviously have an island with some um, stools. So we have just two for the two of us. And then we also have plans to upgrade some shelving on this side here and on the other They're side as the well. They're in the making. That's one thing that's taking yeah, forever because like, of the material. It's COVID, so the material is taking a lot, a long time to kind of yes. come to Canada. So we um, are basically planning on doing shelving on this side and the other side as well. This, this just gives us more kind of storage space. Yes. And this island's really large just for yeah, two Yeah, so it's people. a lot of empty space. Yeah, so we're just kind of planning to do that. So we're adding those two pieces on the, each corner. Uh, like a cabinet kind of area because we do not have a pantry which sucks. Yeah, that's the that's the downfall about our kitchen. It is smaller So we don't have a pantry to keep all that junk food that I love <laughs> So we need the extra storage space for sure And then if you guys watch our videos often you'll notice that we did a little coffee station here yes. Again, we're still not done this area. We want to do a whole accent wall um, We want to do a proper coffee station right now. This is kind of temporary because we don't know exactly how we like it. We need to see the accent wall first and then do the coffee station. Um, but right now, as you can see, we have a little kind of a console table that we got from HomeSense and obviously all our coffee and tea stuff. And then our beautiful plant here, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. <laughs> this is this is OG. This has been in our yeah, house for nine months. We have some plants around the house that are OG since we got here, and they're alhamdulillah, mashallah. Please don't evil eye it. <laughs> are still alive. <laughs> um, now we are gonna take you upstairs. I'm gonna switch spots with Dawood, and Dawood's gonna explain everything upstairs. It's my turn. Let's go. So now we're on a staircase. We have nice three art Islamic art pieces here. I think they're so cool. They, I think they stand out a lot when they go up the stairs. It's very beautiful. I can't imagine this wall being plain, so I think that's a really nice piece that we added to the house. This is our corridor. And this is a guest bedroom that we have not yet finished. Uh, there's still more work that we need to do. Um, there's little pieces we want to add, little accent pieces we want to add. But it's good enough for a guest to sleep in. So now we're going to show you our production room. This is our office. This is where we edit our YouTube videos. This is uh, where Jasmine does her makeup. Um, yeah, this room is pretty much done. We're just going to add little pieces, decorations. This is our favorite piece in the whole house. Hi, how'd you get up there, Flocky? Flocky! Look how big he is now. He's so big. Can you guys see him? Yeah. Oh, this is his favorite spot to chill. So we'll be like editing stuff and working on stuff. He'll like try to climb up on here and then Jasmine's like, hey, stop. And she throws him up here and he's like, okay, I, I can do that. <laughs> and he's such a good boy. So here we have the family washroom. Um, very simple. We didn't really do any upgrades here. We left it the same way as it is. So we wanted to change the countertops to more of a granite or something like that but we decided not to yet because of covid and we don't know what the heck's gonna happen so we left it the way it is and we rarely use this washroom anyways so we're good this is like my third time in here <laughs> so sometimes in the middle of the night instead of using our washroom in the master bedroom i sleepwalk into this washroom he uh, always does that <laughs> I always wake up and I'm like, Dawood, where are you going? And he goes to the washroom. I'm like, but there's a washroom in our room. He's like, but I like that one. I'm like, why? This is while I'm sleeping. <laughs> we have the laundry upstairs rather than the basement. This is an upgrade that we have. So, uh, so much easier. I've never had this in my life. So you, literally there's no clothes on the floor ever. We just literally put everything in here. So we're blessed to have this. And here is our master bedroom. This is where I sleep and this is where Jasmine sleeps sometimes. No, really? <laughs> the most detail we've done in the whole house 
is in this master bedroom. So come in. We got this bed set from Struck2. But actually, this whole bedroom is from Struck2. This is Lucy. She's beautiful. Nice, gorgeous little bamboo. We actually tree. got that from your mom. Yeah, she gave it to us. And it's been sitting here. It's been doing well. I gave it water here and there. Such a cute plant. And ooh, let me show you guys. So me and Jasmine have an obsession with perfumes and clones and fragrances. Um, we do have a lot and this is nothing. A lot of people actually have way more than that. But uh, this is what we have. Uh, we're really into fragrances and actually we want to do a video just on fragrances. And it's actually going to be a funny video. We've already started a little bit. Um, I've already got my first pack for this video. I haven't smelt this yet. So this video is going to be about blind buying perfumes, so it's going to be funny. We have we bought we bought a bunch of perfumes that we have no idea what they smell like and hopefully they're nice. And we're just going to add it to our collection. So me and Jasmine are officially fragrance collectors. <laughs> and then we have our walk-in closet that is a disaster because we have way too much clothes for our own good and um, it just needs a lot of organizing. Yeah, it does. So we're not going to show you too much of that. <laughs> <laughs> we're obviously, we're not going to show you guys our basement too because it's unfinished and I think we're going to finish it this summer. By the way, unfinished means like under construction, guys. Not like that we haven't furnished it or anything. Yeah, yeah. It just means like there's literally just concrete. And, yeah. And what do you call it? Concrete walls. <laughs> this is where Dawood leaves all his beard trimmings and says that he's cleaned it up when he hasn't. Guys, you so should have nice. You guys should have seen how much Jasmine freaks out on me, and I have it all clean, Maybe and she'll find just one hair. She's like, you didn't clean it. Yeah. I'm like, come on, man. That's the whole That's... point. When I clean, I make sure everything's gone. You guys have like one eye open, and then you clean. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a bathtub here, soaker tub. Shower and actually this is actually this washroom is actually a piece that I really really want to upgrade This needs a lot of work, but I don't know if it's worth upgrading for a townhouse mm -hmm. I, I don't think we're gonna I don't think this adds value to the house at all. So uh, Maybe we're gonna leave it the way it is. Maybe this is a long-term house for us. We're not too sure yet, but Aside from that, I think we did a really good job in this house. We did a lot of major major upgrades and again, watch the previous video of our house tour and you get to, get to see what kind of upgrades we did to the house. Okay guys, so that is it for today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed this house tour. Um, we are so happy with everything and how it turned out. And we hope you guys also like the style and the colors and the concepts that we went with. Let us know what you thought in the comments down below. And yes, let us know in the comment section down below if you guys want to see the journey of us buying our first home. Mm -hmm. What it took, what we had to do. Um, how we did it, what what was the struggles, how we lost a few houses. So let us know if you guys are interested in that. We'll film a video for that. And that's it for today. We'll see you guys next week, of course. Have an amazing day, guys. And thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,